story you saw first on 13 Action News. Our crews the first to get this surveillance video after a bag of dead cats was found in the road. And tonight, animal activists raising some concern about how the investigation was handled. 13 Action News reporter Masa Saidi is live near Lake Mead and Land with a timeline of this gruesome discovery. Masa. Trisha, on the side of the building, that small security camera in the corner was rolling. It was early Tuesday morning that the cats were tossed right here in the middle of the street. Tonight, no new leads for police, but some questions. Who would do something like this? Who would take a bunch of animals and bag them up and then just toss them out like trash? The road looks clear until surveillance cameras capture this car pass. 4 a.m. Tuesday, suddenly several bags appear inside dead cats. But is this just a case of illegal dumping or is it a felony? The cats being killed first tonight. New video that shows patrol officers arrive when the sun comes up and drag those bags to the side. I'm glad that they stopped and moved the bags out of the road, but why aren't they looking inside them? And maybe one of those bags was a human. The officers appeared to have a conversation before leaving the scene and those bags for about six hours. Later that afternoon, 13 Action News arrives to investigate a tip. Our reporter just feed away from the cats. An hour later, police come back, the crime tape goes up, and CSI begins processing the evidence. Tonight, animal activist Gina Grison says the delay could have hurt this case. It contaminates a crime scene. Maybe people who saw something, then, you know, witnesses possibly leave. The officers did call the county at 9.39 a.m. before they left the scene. Here's what I would say. Is, was it a homicide? No. But are we going to, do we sit back and wait until it is a homicide? Till we do something? And here's a stain left by one of the bags. Grison authored our state's current animal cruelty law. These cases can lead to something much more serious. We are reaching out to detectives to see if that first car you saw was actually involved in this. Reporting live, Masa Saidi, 13 Action News. All right, thank you, Masa.